Data has been sent. It is streaming to Facebook. YouTube is waiting. Sending, streaming. We're live. We're live. We're Can live. We keep the door open or does that matter? This will no. be okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. We'll wait a few minutes if you are here with us so that we can get some people on. See if we get some folks joining us. Oh, we've got three people. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Tell us who you are, where you're tuning in from. We always like to know. This is a fun, let's make art matter for kids. Yes. So we're going to be painting together. And actually, even if you're not doing this postcard with us, go and grab out your watercolor supplies. Or if you follow along with Lori or Jesse's tutorials, grab those supplies too. So we can just paint together and hang out. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Marcy Clark. Hello. Hi, Marcy. Oh. Jessica from Minnesota. Nice. Marcy, we saw your that post with Ford and that he was doing the the famous artist box. Yes. Right? That was the yep. one he was doing? Yep. Yeah. That was great. So that's awesome. Ford, if you're I don't know if you're with us. Are you with us, Ford? We were so excited to see that and that you were loving those. Let's see. Deb says Hello, Nicole. Oh, hi, Keenan. Well, hi, Deb. Happy midnight snack time here in England. Hello. <laughs> I was just eating some peanut butter M&Ms myself. Yes, he was. I had some Cheez-Its, which I haven't had Cheez-Its in so long. Oh, yeah, Cheez-Its. Those, are, uh, those come in clutch sometimes. They're deadly because you can't stop. Angela, hello from South Carolina. Oh, hi, Kate. Thank you so much. Hi, Jerry from Rexburg, Idaho. I've got some family over there. Rexburg? Rexburg. Yeah, pretty neat. Oldest sister, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Hi, Kate. Oh, thanks, Kate. Oh, hi, Danison. Oh, yes. Maria Mexico. Hello. Danison. Everyone knows Danison. If you don't, he was one of our lettering guest artists. Yes. And he's awesome. He Danison. is awesome. So good to see you. Oh, this. I'm glad we did this live. It's always fun to see... Faces and names that we, I guess it's names, but I see faces on the little Facebook icon that we know. Let's Make Art Matter is one of our special things that we do that we love. And then lives on top of that are even more fun so that we can be together. I know that there's something that everyone loves. Let's see. Marcy says he's at sports camp. Oh, that's epic. Ooh, sweet. What kind of sports camp? but he psyched about that box and has declared himself a famous artist in training. That's amazing. That is awesome. Good for him. <laughs> Train those hands. That is awesome. Uh, Angela says peanut butter M&Ms are the best. Save me some. <laughs> Angela, I guarantee nothing. I've already gone through a bag and a half alone. That is ridiculous. It's a gift. Hi, Caitlin. Oh, Arlo and Dabney. That's Arlo and Dabney's mom. We're at Arlo's soccer game and we'll have to paint along later. Yes! I played soccer growing up, so you'll have to tell Arlo that I played soccer too. Actually, Sarah and I did. And then we would sometimes even play. We used to a lot more. We don't as much anymore, but we used to play as a company after work. So that's so fun. Hi, Sarah. Sarah says, what's even better than regular Cheez-Its are the toasted Cheez-Its. What is that? I haven't had those. I'll have to try them next time I go. Toasted? Toasted. Is that similar to the oven to oven roasted Lay's chips? <laughs> You'll are, have to they're tell healthier. Us there. They're healthier. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Jill. Jill's from Florida. Jill! Hey, oh, long time no see, Jill. One of the sisters you met last week. Yeah. You met them? Was that only last week? I feel like that was longer. A lot has happened. A lot has happened in a, a week or two. Gosh, this is so fun. Thank you, everyone, for saying hi. <clears throat> yeah, this is fun. Marcy says, Sarah, those Cheez-Its are culinary miracle. What <gasps> is what? this? We're going to have to find some. Okay, we'll have to find some. And while I'm talking also, Keenan, if you can go overhead, I'm going to be taping this down and getting us ready to paint. Yes, ma'am. Stand by. I'll get it's it like ready. It's like slightly burnt Cheez-Its. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm in. Sounds like they'd be good with bacon. That's so funny. Caitlin Scott Kramer says this is their first season with Dabney and Arlo playing soccer. Oh. That's got to be fun. That's so cute. Oh. 
Jolene Nacheson says, hello to Giant Heart. Aww. I figure I need to learn the way children do. Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh, okay. Are you hanging along with us? If only we had a child with us tonight. I know. It's just me and Keenan tonight. So that's okay. That's we're a lot of fun. Child's, children at heart. So we're just going to be here together as a family. Jill, Jill, I did correct Jill. I was right about the timeline, which is rare. She said, Keenan, it was a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we can, I definitely want to keep talking while we paint, but I just wanted to talk a few things. I just use my, um, if, if you haven't tried this out, this is an awesome tape, and I'm not just trying to sell you on something. I love it because it's see through, so when I'm taping things down, um, it's really helpful to be able to see that. So this is our whole buying tape. So we're doing our Let's Make Art Matter card for, what month is it? June. June. Holy moly. Yeah, it's already. And June's almost over. It's already June. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is our Ocean Life box, which I loved. And it was so fun to see other people loving this box. I'm an ocean girl at heart. I'm from California. And I definitely channeled that. I channeled going to the aquarium as a kid and seeing, we did some, uh, a stingray, well, it's technically a spotted eagle ray. True. And then we did some glowing jellyfish. So I remember seeing those at the aquarium and loving it as a kid. And we used this gum marker, which- Is magical. Is literally magical. It's crazy how cool that, like how easy it is to use. It's so easy. Keenan so can use it. Sarah used it and then got me into it. And I was like, I need to introduce this to the kiddos. So. I'm gonna be using this. Now, if you don't have that, you can use either the white crayon, if you have a crayon box, and maybe you have a white crayon, or if you wanna do this afterwards, and you also don't have to do this. So again, I want you to paint with us, even if you don't have these exact supplies, because it's not about having everything perfect or having the same exact thing as I do. Did you, already, did you say, I didn't hear you if you said I was playing with headphones, I apologize. Did you mention that oh. you could use a crayon instead of that? Yep. They can use a white crown. It's okay. kind of similar because it's, it's a white reason. Yeah, it just blocks it. Yeah. Yeah. So we are painting for Ava. And Ava is now 14. And she is a girl who we want to remind her that she is special and loved. Um, she, she likes a lot of things. She told us she likes pineapples, lizards, cats, dogs. So if you also want to paint something else, she likes those things if you want to paint for her. But we want to remind her that she's unique and uplift her during this time. So Ava, if you're watching, we love you and we are making something fun for you to put in your room. Nice. So what we're going to do is the first step is, is grab your gum marker. Again, if you don't have this, use a white crayon and I want you to shake it. Now, if this is your first time ever using this, I want to show you is, can we do a side shot? Side shot incoming. Boom, here I'll move this for everyone mm. to see. So my tip is already blue, do you see that? And my hand is painted <laughs> with watercolor. <laughs> uh, but so this is already used, so when I'm gonna use it, it creates this blue line. But if this is your first time using yours, yours will be white. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to shake it and push and pump it a few times because basically the liquid is inside here, so it needs to wake up and go to the tip of the pin. So mine is already ready to go. So if yours is not, go ahead and do that. And what we're doing is we're painting a fun underwater scene. So if we can go back to the top cam so everyone can see some options. What I wanted to show you is that whenever you paint here with us, especially with the kids stuff, I always try and design the projects where you can make it your own so you don't have to follow exactly. Because I know that something with kids a lot is well, and adults, I'm sure we all can relate, that we wanna make it perfect and exactly like what you see, but we do not want that here. So what I wanted to show you is what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an underwater scene. And actually Sarah did a similar project, so maybe some of you have done some of Sarah's. But what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna start and pretend our light is shining down. So what we're doing is we're laying at the bottom of the ocean and pretending like we are looking up and we're seeing the light. Is everything okay? Everything's okay-ish. I yeah. was gonna move the side cam. Oh, but go ahead. You're, I have to. I'd have to appear. Okay, go ahead. I have to. Oh, appear, yeah, you can I have to appear through. Great. I'm wearing a, an Adidas hat. I don't know if this is allowed. I'm not gonna full screen say hi. You know, just go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just see Keenan. Okay. <laughs> 
So the first step is, is use your gum marker. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a circle and some lines, kind of like a spiral actually, around in this corner, because that's where my light is really shining through. So you see how I did that? And when I do this is you don't want the lines to be super concentrated, have it be spread out. Cause think about when you look at the sun, it's really bright here. And then it kind of gets a little bit less as you go out. So do that and you can draw a few more. You can draw some other lines. And what we're doing is we're doing this part right here and right here that we see. And if you want to do yours horizontal, you can do that as well. So this is an example of that. Deb asks, Nicole, will a wax candle do instead? Oh, snap. Please try. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing I'm thinking is maybe removing it. It might pick up the paper a little bit, but you don't have to remove the paper. Yeah. You don't have to remove the wax. It'd just be a different texture. And that would be super cool because then it'd be raised. Right. If you can melt a candle and you have a candle handy try it. You're going to melt a candle? Wait, don't you have to use a melt? Oh, I guess if you have I it, would just you draw candle, with it. That's true, that's true. What? If you have a candle, how, what kind of candle are you picturing? Because there are several types of candles. I assume I was, a candle stick. Uh-huh. And then you just take it out of its stand and draw with it. Like a crayon. On the bottom where there's no wick. Don't you need it to be... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Deb, you're going <laughs> to... Deb's going to have to make a tutorial for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using the colors from our ocean box. I have sea blue, berry blue, and black. But grab any blue and you will be great. So I'm going to set this right here. And we have, I'm using... I'm going to use my bigger brush. Now, you can use any brush you have. We also have this... A uh, wide one that would be good, but I'm gonna use this bigger one because I want to paint a big area. Now, whenever you use watercolors, I know it's a little tricky because these are already liquid, but I want you to dip your brush in water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a light color. Hmm, let's see. Let me think for a second what would be best for us. I think actually, I take that back. We're gonna start, and I want you to start from the darkest part. And so that's in our corner. And so my berry blue is darker. So grab your darker blue, and I want you to paint the corner like this. And one thing when you're painting, I don't want you to push super, super hard like this, because do you see my brush, how that's smushing it? I want you to kind of sweep across the paper like this, and you can be loose. So I'm just gonna do that much. So just do a little bit in the corner because it's darker down here. And then as we go up, it's gonna get a little bit lighter. So you want you to dip your brush in water again and grab the other, the lighter blue. I'm grabbing my sea blue. And I'm gonna overlap because watercolors are beautiful. And when you overlap, do you see that? Ooh. We got a whole new color. Isn't that awesome? What? So I want you to keep going. Oh, the fun thing about these kind of projects too, is you can do any color. Yes, actually that would be so pretty. What that if would it be. was like the sun was setting and yes. you did reds and yes. orange and yellow? What if you, what if you, ooh, I don't even know. I have so many different ideas. What if you did the similar thing to the waves? Where the waves instead project? of finishing the whole project to the top corner, it was more white and you made it look rough. So mm. it's like you're coming above through the water maybe. That would be cool. Some sudsy actions. Deb said drawing to resist is what I was thinking. Right? That yeah, would I work. Yeah, I think that would work. Yeah. Oh, I missed a hello. Hello from the Philippines, from Millie. So cool. What time is it in the Philippines right now? Uh, Margaret says hi from Brazil. What time is it there? We want to know all the things. This is so cool. Okay, I got distracted, which is okay because we can just keep going. So I painted blue and then I went up, but this is kind of a circle right here. So what you, I want you to do is I want you to actually literally draw circles and I'm painting on my tape. Do you see this? My paint is getting some love. Yes. <laughs> and it's working out. So I'm gonna leave a little bit here and here's a trick. Grab water 
and I want you to paint on top and we're gonna make an even lighter blue right there. So do you see that? How this is the magic trick that I love Ooh. teaching is water plus any color makes it lighter. So this is already so cool. You see the texture that's going on. Yes, let me do a side cam Ooh. actually. I love this. Hi from Maryland and I Massachusetts. Was, I was gonna read that. Sorry, I beat you to it. Dang it. So many M states. We're in Missouri. Hollis, Hollis says hello from California. <gasps> Where from California are you at? I wanna know. This is so much fun. Okay, now, I was thinking about this project and I was like, what ocean are we painting? So if you're, I, I'm wondering if anyone here, Keenan, what oceans have you been to? Don't ask me to name oceans, please. <laughs> Actually, if there's people who are from the more middle of the country, yeah. They might, or if you, some people vacation to ocean places, but see, I've been, we learned that there's so many different There's so many places. I've been to several places. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully my good. mom's now watching this too. <laughs> Jolene, are you watching still? Keenan's mom's watching. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> While we're doing this is I'm going to really quickly use, this is our heat it craft tool and it's awesome. Can they still hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. Jesse introduced us to this tool and we all are obsessed with it. Yeah, it's pretty handy. So now the next part is, is we're going to add another layer. So the cool thing about watercolor is if you want to layer on top, you just got to let it dry. So that's the one trick that I want you to remember. Now, I am going to use black. So we're going to create a shadow. Now you can either use black or a darker blue. And we're going to paint the seaweed that's coming up from the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to use black. And again, we're just being loose and having fun and we're just gonna paint some squiggle lines. Do you see how I'm being loose? I'm not trying to make this perfect. I love those silhouettes. The, the yeah, oh, that looks very calming too. It's very calming. And you get to decide, is there a lot at the bottom? What are we looking at? When we look at this, when we're looking up, is there a little bit coming off from the side like this? And now here's the thing you might notice that they're thicker down here and thinner up here. The cool thing about this round brush is you can decide how much pressure and what size your line is going to be. So if I press really hard, it's a thick line. If I go really light and hold it like that, it's a really thin line. So you get to decide what you're painting. Yeah, that's fun. So maybe you do some thin ones because not everything in nature is the same or perfect. I just thought of uh, one of my favorite movies is Finding Nemo. Yes. And the Just Keep Swimming just popped just in my head. Just Keep Swimming, Just Keep Swimming. Does anyone else love Finding Nemo? It's my, <laughs> probably one of my favorite movies. P. Sherman, what is it? P. Sherman 42 P. Wallaby. P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. <laughs> okay. S Maybe we're painting Sydney. Saparna says, wow, I love your painting techniques. Awesome. And she used to live in St. Louis, love the town. Oh, cool. And I she said maybe visit. she'll visit our, our store someday. Yeah. Because how far is it from St. Louis? Um, five hours. Well, she doesn't. Oh, said yeah, she's not. I she used, used to. to live there. Used to. Now, our very last step is that you get to decide what is in your ocean. So, again, this is your world. So, maybe, maybe there's magical unicorns in your ocean. Maybe there's yes, please. <laughs> anything you get to decide, but if you want to paint, I'll show you, we can do, I'll show you to do a little turtle and some school of fish. So what we're going to do is if you only have this bigger brush, we're going to use that same technique of just using the very, very tip of our brush. So maybe Keenan can do a side shot for this side shot. Sweet. Okay. So I'm just going to really lightly press my paper. And I'm going to do a curve and then another curve, 
fill it in. And these are very, very simple, but really cool. And then I'm gonna do an arrow basically that's going like that. And you can either leave it like that, that looks kind of cool, or you can connect it to make a triangle and fill that in. And boom, you got a little fish. A little goldfish, snackaroo. It needs a little friend or family. Hollis says uh, Bakersfield. Bakersfield, oh, that's in more central. Oh, okay. I, think, I feel like we were just talking about that. We were? Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm from San Jose, and then I used to live in Southern California, so. Classic. Another Californian. Okay, so more schools of fish. Now, here's the cool thing, is if you are thinking, wait, my fish, I'm imagining and closing my eyes, and it's actually really long, you're gonna make your curve a lot longer, and you can make a skinny one and match it on the other side. Or maybe he's closer. Oh, and that's why he's bigger? Yeah. That's true. And those ones that are really far away, huge. Maybe now there's be, that. Oh, this is so cool, the resist of the pen. Do you see that? Yeah. It like, kind of looks like it's going through it. Shifted. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now if you want to paint a little <laughs> turtle, this is a little bit trickier, but we're going to break it into small steps, and I know you can do it. So the first step is, is draw a circle, fill it in. Draw another circle for its head, a little oval on top, whichever direction it is. And then at the bottom, you're gonna draw legs as a little oval and fill those in as well. And then the wings, not the wings, the arms, <laughs> I just thought of wings, are gonna be, again, curves out and then come back in. They're just a little bit longer. And this one's gonna go right there. I made that wing a little bit, or that arm a little bit bigger, but that's cool. So there's so many different shapes that you can do. This is so pretty to see, because I know it's each so one great. is a little bit different. Dennison said, I love Finding Nemo, ba but absolutely love Baby Dory. Baby Dory. I, Danison, have you seen Finding Dory? It mm -hmm. was, I feel like it wasn't as good, but it was still really good. It is good. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, you can draw a little Dory. Maybe you draw little stripes. Ooh, yes. Dory is a little, what shape is Dory? She. A round triangle, I think. But then what's her fins look like? They're pressed up against her body. Oh, so you don't really see them. Mm -hmm. So you would kind of see. Because she's built for speed. Well, kind of. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> <laughs> we can write Dory. <laughs> oh, hi, Daphne. Your mom just told us that you. Well, your brother's playing soccer right now, but that you're also playing soccer, so that's so cool that you're playing. Veronica, I might do this one maybe tomorrow. Do it. You saw how simple that was? And we're actually done. Snap. So you're just gonna let it dry. Now, with this gum marker, you can either use your finger. Let me try on this one. So let's, can you get a side view of this? Side view. So you can either use your finger and you can rub it off. So let's see if you can see. Oh yeah, you can see. So do you see how when I'm rubbing, the gum marker is actually coming off? Mm. So you can either do that, or we have a tool that's called a the pickup cement eraser, which I've heard was really useful. Um, or you can just leave it like this. And it actually looks really cool leaving it because you see some of the bubbles, so it kind of looks more like the ocean. But you have the chance to decide what you want to do with yours. So, do you are you do you want to relist what we use for the supplies today, real quick? Yeah, just briefly. Okay. Thank you. So I used we used a postcard. This is for Ava for our Let's Make Art Matter, and we also actually sell postcard size paper. That's Let's Make Art, so it's perfect because it's the right size, and then you can just add a stamp to it. So we used that. I used the Holbein soft tape to be able to tape this down, and you can see when. 
I can take it off. <clears throat> Excuse me, when we take it off, you can see the edge. So it's really, really nice. <laughs> then I use the, what? <laughs> the drawing gum marker. This is by Papibo. And that's what we use to make these white lines. And then I used, the colors were sea blue, berry blue, and black. And these were all from our Ocean Life box. Oh, and I used this brush basin. I don't know if you can see that. This your, brush your, basin, that's your awesome. Your face is in the way. That Lori introduced us to. And then the last thing that I wanna remind everyone is if you have our kids box, what we do is we have a game board. And I actually, I think Luna already did this. We did this when we did this together. But I want you to use your sticker and I want you to put your sticker on one a box that you did. So this is our game board and I just saw it says, had fun using the masking marker. So I'm gonna use one of these stickers and just tape it off. So it's a fun way for the kids to be able to kind of get incentivize because I don't know if, if I don't know if your kids were like me as a kid but I was obsessed with games and if there was a game I would want to finish it <laughs> and I was a big perfectionist growing up so it got me to uh, floss my teeth was a game like that I remember at the dentist office wow if I flossed for like 30 days I got a silver dollar what and I love flossing now so it worked <laughs> 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 so I thought it'd be fun to introduce games. So we've been doing this all year. So it's a fun thing that's in your box. Um, and again, this is from our Ocean Life box, which you can still get. And this is a really fun one for anything ocean related. And thank you so much everyone for being here. This was such a good group and we love being able to do this with you guys and thank you for also sending the postcard to ava if you don't even have our box you can email our team at hello at let's make art.com and you can get her address this is for ava we want to just uplift you and remind you that you are loved and unique and send you a little art and we heard you like to do art too so we want to join you in doing that so thank you very much thank, thank you everyone thank you very much I need to go eat. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we hope you have a great rest of your day. Hug your people. And if you're a kid listening, you'll know our motto. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative.